Hi, welcome to my video on division of complex numbers, part three, the product of a binomial conjugate patterns. So we're going to get a pattern when we multiply two conjugates, which are binomials. There is a pattern. Let's see if we can find that pattern. Find a pattern for the product of binomial conjugate of complex numbers. So the conjugate of one plus 3i is 1 minus 3i. Let's multiply, and I'm going to multiply by foil, f-o-i-l. First is 1, outside is negative 3i, inside is 3i, and last is negative 9i squared. Notice because there are conjugates, the middle terms cancel, negative 3i plus 3i is 0. So that's 1, and that's negative 9. i squared is negative 1. So negative 9 times negative 1 is a plus 9. And we add to get 10. The conjugate of 2 minus i is 2 plus i for the conjugate. The product, we're going to do FOIL again. First is 4. Outside is 2i. Inside is negative 2i, and last is a negative i squared. Again, because they're conjugates, the middle terms cancel out, and we get 4 and the negative of a negative. So that's a negative of negative 1. Because i squared is negative 1, that gives us a plus 1. So it gives us a 5. C, the conjugate of negative 4 plus 2i is a negative 4 minus 2i. And we're going to do FOIL again. First, 16. Outside is a plus 8i. Inside is a minus 8i. And last is a negative 4i squared. And again, the middle terms cancel out. And 16. Negative 4 times i squared. i squared is negative 1, so that's a plus 4, which gives me a 20. And negative 1 minus 6i. Conjugate is negative 1 plus 6i. And you can tell if you do it right, if the middle terms cancel out, if you do the conjugate right. So first terms is negative 1, negative 1 is 1. And outside is... Negative 1 times 6i is negative 6i. Inside, negative 6i times negative 1 is a plus 6i. And last is negative 6i times 6i is negative 36i squared. And so that gives us, the middle terms cancel out, 1. And negative 36 times negative 1 is a plus 36, which gives me 37. So, the pattern. So, if we're multiplying conjugates, well, a plus bi, the conjugate is a minus bi. And so, when we multiply, the first is a squared. Outside is a negative a, oops, negative a, b, i. The inside is a positive a, b, i. And the last is a negative b squared i squared and so the middle terms cancel out because they're plus the same terms but they're plus and minus so they cancel so this is a squared so a negative b squared i squared is negative one so negative b squared times negative one is a plus b squared so the pattern is when you multiply complex conjugates, binomial ones, the pattern is a squared plus b squared if you want to do it quick or you can continue to do the FOIL. Notice that a is 1, so it's 1 squared. b is 3, so it's 3 squared 9. Gives you the 10. Notice that a is 2, b is negative 1, so 2 squared is 4, 1 squared is 1, gives you the 5. A is negative 4, B is 2, so negative 4 squared is 16, 2 squared is 4, gives you the 20. 
and a negative 1 squared is 1, and a negative 6 squared is 36, gives you 37. So let's obey. Let's see if we can do it. The conjugate is 3 minus i, and the product, we're going to use this pattern now, so the product is a squared plus b squared. So a is 3, b is negative 1. So a is 3 squared, b is negative 1, so we're going to square it, and we get a 9 plus 1, which is 10. Perfect. And I'm just writing down the conjugate here. If you, if you wanted to multiply these two out by multiplying by the conjugate, go ahead. But the pattern is a squared plus b squared. So a is negative 1, b is 4. So if you put a is negative 1, b is 4, you get negative 1 squared is 1. Oops, that's a square. 4 squared is 16, which gives me the 17. And, again, if you want to do, if you want to go by multiplying by foil, you would go 2 minus 3i and do foil on this and work it out. Or you go a squared plus b squared is a quick way. a is 2, b is 3, so a is 2, b is 3, that will give you a 4 plus 9, which gives you a 13. Again, you could go with a conjugate and multiply it by foil, and you would still come up with this answer. And the quick way is a squared, b squared. a is negative 4, b is negative 2, so notice this is a plus b i. So a is negative 4, b is negative 2. So you put a is negative 4, b is negative 2 squared, it gives you 16 plus 4, which gives you 20. And again, if you want to do the conjugate, which is negative 4 plus 2i, if you multiplied all this out by 4, you would come up with this. That's the pattern for modifying uh, by conjugates, binomial conjugates, so that a fraction does not have um, what we call a complex number or an imaginary number in the bottom. A number, a fraction should always have a real number as its denominator. If you like me, really click the like button, subscribe button, and the notification bell. More videos are coming. Visit my math website www.mathforexplain.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. And that's the content that's on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Bye bye.